And here we are with some more of Civilization Five. I'm sorry, hey. think around. Oh. Yes, I, I'm sorry, think around with me is. Ah, oh, a scrambled gamer. There we go. Okay, back into the game. I'm about to shoot these guys run their ugly faces because I hate them. I'm and they're about to pillage my gold mines. Yeah, I can't. I can't move anyway. You can't, actually, oh, okay. You already did your turn. I'll try to finish off then. Uh, oh, wait, actually, can I build a? Oh, I can build a plantation. Don't do it. I'm building a plantation. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> I need your base to be bad so I can feel better about mine. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy some spearmen though. I could buy spearmen. It's not uh, recommended, but I want more units. That's so 25 B. That's so 2500 BC. God. <laughs> to game. I now have some more spear people, and they're gonna be the best. Uh, are they going to be the very best? Like no one ever. Oh, uh, they're actually gonna be the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep them down. Ah! Uh, ah! So. Uh... <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> um, well, they pillaged out. my gold mines, so I officially hate them. My bowman bombarded an enemy brute. Where are you guys going? Get back here. Get back here. Sparta. Oh, I have to select for them to do that next turn. Right? Sparta's gonna fall. You know what's also gonna fall? These frickin' jerkwad spear people. If I could actually click them. There we go. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> that's depressing. Sparta, next to Sparta, there's just furs. And it's just foxes playing, and it's adorable, but then Ooh. I'm just like, God, no way. <laughs> when I Did get that, kill I'm them all? gonna be killing them for fuzz. That's so sad. <laughs> you <work laughs> I like how I'm contemplating there. burning Sparta to the ground, but then I see foxes and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was like this barbaric murderer. It was like, oh, cute little animals. <laughs> I think I've got a fucking force marching on Sparta, but I stopped to pet the foxes. <laughs> I would do that. I love animals. One boss size gold, does it? Listen, workers, you need to do what I tell you, and what I'm telling you is to go down there. Don't I be don't stupid. Have Same with you guys. Same so, so, so with Mombasa, I can shut up because I don't have any gold to give Mombasa. 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 It's like a Lion King or something like that. Yeah. Just Mufasa. <laughs> You know, I, you know, I, I wish I hadn't gone, yeah, because then it just occurred to me, that probably sounds kind of racist. What? <laughs> Mombasa, sounds like Lion King. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> just, I'm wishing I hadn't gone, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because now it's like, ah, oh, it's racist, <laughs> I agreed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so... Sparta is actually completely undefended. Really? I mean, they do uh, have their tower, technically, right? Well, they do have their tower, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the towers always suck. Yeah. Do I want... Yeah, you're uh, gonna well. build a farm? No, you're gonna build a farm. My slaves. You'll do that next turn. And you're gonna go repair the frickin' gold mines, because... Oh my god, it isn't undefended. I just couldn't see the defenders until now. Sure Shit. The quads destroyed those before. Oh no, wait, those are workers. <laughs> Sometimes the fog of war can really mess you up in these games. But that's good if they were just workers. You're gonna go down here. And now I'm... Have you killed an official barbarian, like, base? Yes, two of them. I haven't killed any of them. <laughs> that's... I, I'm gonna kill my first one before too long, I think, though. <laughs> I've killed two of them and I'm currently marching on a city. You haven't killed, like, you haven't killed one barbarian base yet. I'm gonna do masonry next. I don't know if that's smart or not, but I'm doing it. Oh, well, I need to get masonry, so I'm build a wall. Hmm. I think that's masonry, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it might be. I actually have no idea. I know. I know you can build. Oh no! Those, those, those aren't even workers. Those are settlers. Oh, should I have done it that way? Hmm. Yeah, I'm fine with doing it that way. You're just killing poor settlers. Oh, no. I haven't killed. I haven't killed them. <laughs> yeah, but if you capture them, that'd be pretty good for you, I suppose. You guys are build a mine? Oh no wait, they were workers. One food plus three production. Okay, I've got some I've got some more workers. <laughs> Do jungles give you things? I don't know. I would guess that they don't, but it says if I build this mine I lose minus food two food. But it also says plus three production. So I might go ahead and do that. I've started attacking Sparta. <laughs> Let me see. 
They've got some archers in Sparta, though, which is annoying. Because if they're actually in a city, you can't hit them directly, can you? You can only hit the city. Yeah, yeah, that's a big pain. And the city keeps bloody regenerating. Guys, go down there. I oh, know, they, they okay. regenerate, like, down on freaking God or something like that. That was the worst way to describe it, but... Um, <laughs> you stay on alert. Can I purchase anyone? Oh, I can purchase some more bowmen. My moves are actually going pretty fast right now. I could purchase and a spell. I'm which going to start making some more of those guys. Probably could right. be smart. Right, these guys? Uh, can I actually... I can't move these Babylonian bowmen. I think my bowmen are <gasps> a special kind of bowmen. I'm not sure. Oh. Barbarian well. archers are nearby. That's not fun for me. Archers, archers are one of the best ways to deal with uh, an attack. <laughs> the archers are one of the best ways to deal with sieging a city. That's true. Yeah, yeah. The long, the long range guys are just perfect for uh, city sieging. Spearmen are apparently quite good at it, based on this. But really, it says they are. My so warriors are getting my warriors are getting eaten alive. <laughs> Basically, how I handle every siege when I play my own game is that I make a bunch of uh. Uh, yeah, 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 I make, like, catapults and stuff like that. And then I slowly yep. move those in while protecting it by, like, trying to distract him with a bunch of, like, spearmen and stuff like that. I would be doing that, but, you know, early game. Yeah, yeah. I don't really have any, I don't really have any siege weapons as of yet. God, I hate these barbarian forces. They're, like, ruining fact, my happiness. I... Hmm... A spearmen are almost dead, but then again, so is the city. And I've got some archers on the way, so. Archers! Archers! Onward! For Gondor! For Gondor. Oh, wait, it's entirely the wrong. For Gondor and for Aslan. I'm not going to start talking about how annoyed I am about that scene in Lord of the Rings. I'm not doing it, goddammit. I'm not doing it. Did an entire hour long podcast on it already. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I can make the walls of Babylon. Okay. If I get masonry, cool. Um, yeah, let's just keep attacking the crap out of Sparta. Fortify you so you can actually heal a bit while my uh, backup gets... Oh, come on, get moving, you lazy shits. Move. <laughs> that is so mean. <laughs> They're just sitting in the middle of the city, picking their noses. Yeah, no, the guys are... Units are pretty stupid sometimes, I will admit that. We're gonna move right on over here, my good sirs. Iron. I need to. Oh, I need to expand my city so I can get at that iron because then I can start making swordsmen. I have, I have very good feelings about something that might happen in five turns. Marble over there. It could turn sour, but I think it might be good. It's not a lemon, is it? A lemon? It might turn sour. Oh no! Someone <laughs> built Stonehenge. Oh god! Someone's someone's got a pantheon. Crap. It's not good. People are getting religion already. Uh, I'm gonna move you along here, my good sirs. Oh god, these guys, are, these archers might actually destroy my civilization. But my people are killing them right now, so we'll see how that handles. I made quite a bit of money because I just started surrounded by cotton. <laughs> you you were so surrounded just, by so cotton. I was surrounded by three lots of cotton. Granted, and there's some another of one. were entirely my fault, but. There's another like, one that's literally just out of view as well. I feel like you've started in a much happier place than my, my place. <laughs> I have, I'm afraid. But such is the nature of the game. That's true. Is that some people just, you just get, sometimes you just get lucky with where you start. My spearmen did one. just completely destroy this archer group, though. They, like, killed them all in one hit. So I'm happy with I that. I actually start moving these guys over here. Can I? Because you can buy tiles. Excellent! I just bought another tile of cotton. Holy cow! I need to instantly heal these guys for fifty. Otherwise, they're gonna die. So I've got what? I've got one plantation of cotton. I'm working on another plantation, and then I've got two more bits of cotton to get. I hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> building like the ultimate city. Well, I'm building the ultimate mercantile city, which is bad because I'm not mercantile. <laughs> What the hell is this? Is this stuff? Oh, that's I'm Oh, and Sparta is surrounded by silk. Oh my god. <laughs> Once you take over them, you're gonna rule the world. Uh, oh, I can start building another plantation. Yay. My spearmen are gonna do a really good job about finding this barbarian city, though, so I think things are about to turn around for the better. 
Sparta's nearly mine. Gonna build a farm too. And I'm also working on settlers as we speak. <laughs> oh crap, I didn't do anything for them. I don't know. I don't know what thing how things are going with me. I think I might be like on the east coast of this. I think I might be I think I might be winning. <laughs> oh you dear! You're above me by two points, which makes me sad. Cause I won't I won't be top dog in this situation, but I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> Oh my god. I'll get animal husbandry. City of Babylon wants pearls. Uh, I think not. The pearls of Babylon. Babylon has always been known for their pearls. I've got, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I actually have no <laughs> idea. That was a complete lie. Um, I presume not. I but... Yeah, I, well, Babylon's. Is, yeah, but isn't it like land locked? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know where Babylon was. All I know, I, I only know two things about Babylon. No, three things. Number one, doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> number two, <laughs> um, number two, Hanging Gardens. Number oh, three, yeah, the there was a hawk at some point. I actually forgot about the Hanging Gardens. I did a report on the Hanging Gardens when I was a kid, but I don't know anything I, about the Hanging Gardens. All knowledge I gained from that report has been lost in my mind. Unfortunately. Which is what happened in the education system, I don't know. <laughs> I completed the Great Library. I'm proud of myself. Ah! Uh, well, um, I think my uh, my attempt to take Sparta has just been thwarted. Because oh, no. they've got, um, they just called in some warriors and some phalanx guys, and I've got a unit of archers. Holy <laughs> so... cow. The whole cow. I don't even know what that means. Um, the whole cow. <laughs> it was like a cow? <laughs> I want the whole but cow! <laughs> Have you um, built a second settlement? No, not yet. I will next. I will be in a couple of turns, though, because I'm literally on my next turn. I'm going to have uh, finished building some more settlers. I just got settlers. Hooray. Let me see you. Run along. I'm going to build them. I'm going to build this new town between a pile of salt and a pile of iron and a pile of silk. <laughs> it's going to be right next to Babylon, but it's also going to be in between a bunch of those resources. Uh -huh. I just, like, moved my settlers... Right over to some barbarians. <laughs> I really didn't negotiate a piece. I'll be okay, but I'm a little bit scared now. Uh, game is also telling me to build some settlers, but I don't think that's something I need to do. Hmm. I've made peace with um the Greeks because I really wasn't going to succeed in that one. <laughs> uh, I was. I wasn't winning that. There was no way I was winning that. Uh huh. I'm gonna... Once I've got some siege weapons, I think I'll be able to win. My but... I've, I haven't yet to see anyone. Like, no one around anywhere. Except for barbarians. There's been a lot of barbarians. Are you just in, like, some really far-removed part of the map? Apparently. Who knows? Maybe I'm just, like, on my rogue island. One, like, small rogue island somewhere chilling. Awesome, I get to found a pantheon. Who can I shoot? Oh, I can't fire on mm. anyone. I thought I could, but I couldn't. God of War! You aren't, you aren't yes. making the mausoleum of something, are you? Okay, no. I'm about to do that. I'm making the walls of Babylon. Oh, that's pretty badass. I'm making the walls of Babylon because I can. <laughs> because Babylonian. You guys are gonna, like, retreat, because otherwise you're gonna be in a very sad place. I'm also shooting the crap out of some barbarians, because Babylon. Babylon! Oh no. My only excuse for anything is because Babylon. Only excuse because of Babylon? Yeah. Well, what other excuse do you need? You need all the excuses. <laughs> because Babylon. I love how the little cities show up when you finish building them. Like, it's so fancy and cool for your place. I mean, you can actually see the things. Yeah, like I got me a great library going, and it looks freaking badass. You know, I'm more concerned with that salt. Can I build the wheel? I don't. Do I have the wheel? I don't think I have the wheel yet. That, like, looking at, I never thought about that, but like looking at the rest of like the construction of how the land is set out and all that jazz. Doesn't it look like the wheel should probably have been built like ages ago in all the societies? Yeah, I know. Given that I've got, given that I've got metal yeah. working. Yeah. 
I should have figured Do out the wheel. It doesn't really make any sense, but who knows? I guess it's like a game context thing. Ooh, it's just, it's one of those times where if you try and apply like, real world logic to the game, the game kind of yeah, breaks down. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys are gonna sleep. If I can get, if I get this iron and I get some swordsmen going, I am going to kick the crap out of the God Greeks. Damn. Is I don't care. I don't care if I've got a peace treaty with them. I want that city. Damn There's it! Too many barbarians attacking me, and that's making me very, very sad. They're gonna corrupt my. Oh nope! I killed them. Killed at least one army of them. Start moving. I'm gonna actually start moving my workers over to that iron deposit. Let me see. I'm gonna build my city in a forest. Do you have advanced warriors? Like, beyond spearmen, I suppose? Um, yes, but I can't, don't have access oh, okay. to them yet. Because I think the advanced version of them is swordsmen. Mm. Which I need iron for. I've got the research for them, but I don't actually have any iron yet. Hence why I'm building a city next to some iron. I don't know how I feel about all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't, don't know how you feel about me getting even I, more martial I don't power. like it. <laughs> Could also be, I get chariot archers, which can be oh, quite helpful. Oh yeah, Th those things are pretty cool. Cause they move so freaking fast. But, uh, yeah, I think I remember I used to use them as siege weapons in the early game. Oh no. Um, found a city. I found the city of. What the hell is that called? <laughs> Akkad. A barbarian group just attacked me, but they lost the effort. But lost it to the point where they all died. Like, I didn't attack them. I didn't finish huh. them off. They just all attacked me and just uh, basically committed suicide. That was Excellent. weird. I, like, do not know what that was all about, but I'm happy with it. I'm um, a barbarians with a death yes, wish, but supposedly. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, can I actually can I attack you? So one thing is, I don't like the fact that sometimes the actual range that archers can fire at is exactly clean. Yeah, that, that's one thing I will say. Like, sometimes it's like, I, I don't know if it's an angle thing, but sometimes it looks like you have, like, three area, uh, like, three blocks, but then other times it's two. At least with, with siege units, that's what's happened with me a lot. I found actually a ruins! I thought those would all be gone by now. You're mine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start working on construction because then I can get better bowmen. Because everything's about getting better know, warriors. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> Everything I'm doing is geared towards getting better ways to I haven't to built kill. any monuments, so I think I should probably get one of those going. It's gonna take a while in this city, but that's okay. Well, in my, in my next turn, I should actually have the walls of Babylon around Babylon. In. I think, but the walls of Babylon aren't like a legendary thing. I think they're just a, um, I think they're just a special thing. Really? They, they aren't one of the monuments <laughs> yeah, or something like that? Place. No, they're, they're not, yeah, they're not considered mm. great works. I think I can put Which would be weird if I conquer Sparta and put the walls of Babylon <laughs> on them. The Great Wall of China <laughs> is one of my, fa my favorite ones of these, uh, wonders that you can find. God, wait, did I get anything from that? I think I just found some ruins, but I didn't get anything from it, so that makes me sad. Choose some production. Um, what is the Colossus? Right there. Do? I'm gonna start building the Colossus. Is the actually. Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, yes, it's Colossus One. You know the one that kind of that the big one with the club. <laughs> you know, I, I've never been in that game. That's a game I really <laughs> need. Tribes like seven of them. <laughs> There's like, oh yeah, there actually were a couple of clubs. How far I got? I I got to the bird one. And then, oh, I just... I love that one. I, I don't know, that's another game where I don't know why I didn't finish it. You, you should, it's in it, the It arts. really it's is great. such Shadow a good Clubs. game from what I've played. I've played uh, it like three times. What do I... Original P the original PS2 version as well, not none of those goddamn <laughs> fucking HD trike. <laughs> HD, HD I, versions I, are always worse it. than the first, unfortunately. The Silent Hill, but I don't. I like to pretend yeah, that didn't happen. Yeah, seriously, HD <laughs> collection didn't happen. Um, I've, I've actually got, still got Silent Hills like one through four like, in their original versions. You know, PS One, PS Two, PS Three, no, uh -huh. PS One, PS Two, PS Three. What the hell am I talking about? I'm not going to play for all of those. The only one I've beaten though is um, have I beaten one? Maybe one and two. I I know I've beaten two, but I certainly haven't beaten three or four. I haven't beaten four, 
Uh, but I have beaten uh, one, two, and three. I've beaten three like four, three. I've been two about three times, and three about so four times. So are you a three guy? I, I know there's always the group. Beat. I think it's it's never Silent Hill one for whatever reason, if I remember clearly. But isn't there like a big argument between? Yeah, there's there's kind of yeah there's kind of a divide between the people who think that Silent Hill three is the best and the ones who think that Silent yeah, Hill two I, is the best. Yeah, I'm a Silent best. Hill two guy. I'm a Silent Hill I'm three a guy. Silent Hill two guy. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I three. mean three, not I'm I'm two. <laughs> I, I meant to say three. I don't know why I said two, but um yeah, I, I love Silent Hill three just because it's more like a Silent Hill game than uh Silent Hill two. I know that how weird that sounds, but like Silent Hill's always been about no, yeah. occultism. That's always been a major theme, but in Silent Hill two, they just kind of no, took it, that. No, I, I agree one hundred percent. It's it, it's because. It, I, the thing, I like Silent Hill 2 because I love James Sunderland so much. Um, that That's the big yeah. thing with that one for me. Uh, all of you soldiers... I like how it's actually, I like how it's actually a relatable character despite being very morally ambiguous, which really isn't something you see uh, many yeah, games try yeah. to do. Like... Cause he is very morally ambiguous, I mean, SPOILERS, BUT THE GAME'S BEEN OUT FOR MORE THAN A DECADE, <laughs> SO DEAL WITH IT. Uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's, most, it's one of the most famous Star yeah, Dream games ever, so... Sorry if it's spoilers, but I don't care really. It's old. Oh my god. Um. Oh god, how do I? Can I okay, I want to purchase you. Can I purchase you? You could purchase me any day. How do I purchase you? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, how do I? I purchased someone earlier, but now I don't know how to anymore. These guys can just stand where they are. They're gonna be alert. I should check what I can purchase Split. because I might be able to purchase a lot. Yeah, I can purchase a lot. It's by... Just got to hope to God the Greeks shrine. don't want. Got, got to hope the Greeks don't start wondering why my units are sitting outside their city again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are those guys doing out there? They what look really they? mad. <laughs> Some really angry looking. <laughs> We've got all these big weapons. Is there some guys pouring bows at us. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> they just like stabbed Tom with something really sharp. <laughs> They make rude hand gestures, don't they? <laughs> but I can't actually think of any other characters that are overtly morally ambiguous. Um, uh, pretty actually, pretty much like every main character in Silent Hill 2 is, I suppose. Yeah. Because like, Andrea. Oh, by the way, killed her quick, father. Quick question, to, and uh, if you answer this question wrong, I will despise you as a human being, mm -hmm. and I will hunt you to the ends of the earth. Um, Pyramid Head, can he exist without James Sunderland? Oh my god. It's, I... I Let me say right now, I hate that Boogeyman is Pyramid Head in Silent Hill 5. I think that should be enough of an answer, in all honesty. But do, but, do, but do you... No, but no. He, 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 he is that? James Sunderland's creation because he's there to punish James for his sins. Cannot exist otherwise. Thank you, you've just saved me a lot of money. I don't have to take a hit out on you. The, that's <laughs> the, 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 the perfect example of why he can't exist is why they frickin' kill themselves at the end of Silent Hill 2. Exa exactly! Because they're not needed anymore. But because, them, but because Pyramid Heads are unrecognizable... Yeah. They, they try and put him in wherever they can. I know, see, wherever they can, too. Which like is every weird. movie, he has to be the villain in it. Yeah. Oh, God. I remember they made like, a Silent Hill movie based on um, Silent Hill 3. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> don't, don't ruin the best one in the series, you bastards. Yeah, yeah. That, I never. I have actually haven't, haven't seen any of the movies, mainly because I avoid them, but I remember them <laughs> seeing that. Have you read anything about it? Um, no. I've, I've, I've read that. I've read that both of them are awful. <laughs> that, that I've read that they're awful horror all, movies. But, um... in, I've read that they're awful ad adaptations, and they're awful horror movies in their own right. Uh huh. The the only thing, uh, the only pieces that I've read of it, um, have been through like reading about separate characters in the wiki, like on the wikis. Like I was reading about Douglas, on the Silent Hill wiki. And, uh, just because I do that every now and then, because I love the characters so much, um, and I want to, like, learn more about their lore and all that jazz, but this would probably piss you off, especially with that one being your, your favorite one. Um, I don't know if you knew, but Douglas is the one who's killed by, what's it called? Uh, the one that kills James. No, not James. Uh, Harry. 
Douglas is killed instead of Harry, essentially, in the movie. Oh, um, the one that ki- um, is it Vol- I don't know, but the, the, you mean the monster that kills? Yes, I'm trying to remember yeah. what it's called. He has, like, claws for hands or something, right? Ah, no, y'all thinking of- I think it's Voltiel, I wanna say? Is it that, that one's name? Is that the one that drags away Heather whenever she dies? Because there's nope. one, there's Voltiel, who's like the- who some people describe as the pyramid head of Silent Hill 3, which is completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, yeah, he's a recurring monster, but he's, he serves a completely different purpose to Pyramid Head. But, um, no, it's like the cultist, I think, is the one that kills Harry. Uh -huh. Oh, that's implied killed Harry in the game. Okay. It's like a spiky hand. It's like the one that spiky hands. Yes, yes, that's what I'm thinking and, of. And, um, I think it's- is it Claudia, I think? It's been a while since I played him, but Claudia's like, they killed, blah, 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 and then there's just that cutscene, and we just go, <laughs> I'm just stomping around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Something the like that. Uh, you know my favorite character in the series? Who? Cool. Vincent. Vincent. So he, he's that dude. He's the dude, right? He's the, he's the, he's the know-it-all guy from Silent Hill 3. Okay. I, I actually haven't played far enough to get to him. So I, uh, he's that's... one of the guys who I don't know very much about. He... He's great, and I actually made a video a long time ago based on because there's a lot of weird, really weird theories about Silent Hill that are completely wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and one of them is this one. It's it, it's less prevalent than it used to be, uh, as far as I'm aware. But um, there was there used to be this one that was uh, the idea of it was that the monsters were people. That's weird. Yeah, and it's based almost entirely off of something that Vincent says in Silent Hill 3. Um, where at one point he's talking to Heather and he just looks at Heather and just goes, Monsters? They look like monsters to you? Oh, God. And then she, when she is like, <gasps> Oh, my God. And then he immediately just goes, Don't worry. It's just a joke. Uh... <laughs> and he starts laughing. And people say, Oh, well, that clearly means the people. I'm like, um, you're forgetting one thing. What's that, Ethan? Vincent bullshits you through the entire fucking game! <laughs> yeah, and also from that statement, I would take that more fucking as, like, this guy's really creepy and insane. Rather than... He's not insane. He's a dick. He's not insane. Uh -huh. He's just a... Okay, okay. Uh, he, he, just, he just thinks it's funny to fuck with Heather. Um, uh, so the fact that people are like, Oh my god! <laughs> clearly. Clearly. Clearly some truth. Uh-huh. You know? Ridiculous that people believe that's that. Weird. The, the one thing that I could, uh, because the character who fascinates me the most, my favorite character is James, but the one who fascinates me the most will always be Maria from Silent Hill 2. Just because. Oh, you mean that weird. Assumed, that, the weird metaphysical recreation of Mary. Yes. Um, but, but just because there's so many hints, like, especially in, um, what's it called? Uh,. Born from a wish. There's so many hints in that story that she isn't that, like she might that she actually existed before Harry came it came to Silent Hill, and that she actually was her own individual and all that uh, that jazz, which all just like fascinates me. It's it's really crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to call this video to a close in a minute because it's we've, it's like twenty eight minutes by my timer. Um, but one thing I will say is that one of my favorite things about Silent Hill Two is the fact that um, it's just one of the things that I think gives the game a unique atmosphere because it's de it definitely stands out as being different from every other game in the series mm -hmm. um, or every other the good games. Mostly, but well, partly because it's very psychological as opposed to kind of cultish. Yeah, yeah. But also because it's got this weird thing is that all the monsters seem really unfazed by the fact that you're around. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. It's like the monsters, they will kind of just kind of go Aah! at you for a bit, but you go a bit further and then they just kind of turn around and go back going about their own business as if they, they're not really concerned with you. It's just like, just this weird little touch. Like, even though they're almost all based on James's psychology yeah. and James as an individual Basically, and they're like reflection. Every single one of them, especially the legs one and Pyramid Head, of course. Yeah, and obviously Pyramid Head. I've always had this weird theory that inside of Pyramid, that if had Pyramid Head it was ever able to take off his head, I mean, it is his head. But like, if, it, if it was ever took that hat off, it'd probably be James's face on the inside. That would be pretty cool. I, I actually uh, thought about something like that. I mean, it has been already confirmed that that's not a mask. Oh, it, it, it <laughs> that is, is just his pure head. It's literally <laughs> his head. That is <laughs> like, really that, cool as well. I like that a lot. Um, like, the, 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 yeah, like I think it was it was either the monster designer or the director of the series said that at one mm. point. It's literally his head. Um, 
But yeah, no, yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, so it's been half an hour. So um, I believe we'll be back with another video after this. Yes, certainly. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be all for me for now. I've been here on the left side of the ground with me here today has been the Egg Scrambled Gamer. So you're getting used to it now. <laughs> 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 and um, yeah, that'll be all for me for now. Good day. Keep calm. Carry on. All that jazz. Yes. Bye. -bye.